Okay, testing, um, and here we go. The third part of our um, PHP variable series is arrays. So this is where we finish it off. So I thought I'd play some theme music, and um, after that we will uh, get started. So let's get started. Bam. Yeah, that's enough of that. Okay, I hope you guys found that funny. If you don't, you can do whatever. I don't care. Okay. So... We're going to create a new file. It's called array. Uh, it's a PHP file. It's called arrays. And we're going to go, uh, we're going to right click on our project. And we're going to do run configuration. And we're going to select the arrays file right there. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And we're just going to learn about arrays. Let's rock and roll with arrays. So an array is a special type of variable that can contain multiple values. So let's go ahead and create some regular variables and you'll see what I mean. So Bill is awesome. I set that variable to true. We're going to use camel case. Um, Tom likes uh um food we'll set that one to true and then we're gonna have ashley it's last name and let's set that one to smith and then bill and that'll go right there and we'll just stop right there so we created a few variables so now we're going to create an array variable, so all variables. You don't have to name it this, but that's what I'm going to name it. You can name it whatever you want. And then we're going to have a type of variable. Now there's two ways to declare an array in PHP. This is the old way of doing it. And then this is the new way of doing it. Um, this still works. This will work in PHP 5.4. We're using PHP 5.6. Some people like the syntax of this better. Some people don't. Uh, I use them both, um, which is stupid. Okay, so don't be like me. So that's that will create what I just did. Will create an empty array. So do all variables um, another. So that just created an empty array. So the heart and soul of PHP is arrays, just to let you guys know. Um, so this is very important. This is a very important variable type. So the way we add vari values to the array is we do this. And then the value. And then we can also add variables to the array by doing that and then the variable name. So that's how we add values to the array. So if we var dump this, and that's what we're about to do, so we're about to var dump all variables, let's see what we get. And we're going to just plow that on. And I'm going to move this so you can see it. And you see we get an array that has size 2, and it has a Boolean value, and it has a... Um, and it's um, and that's true. And then it has a string uh, value that has the string v a l u e. And these things right here are called the index. And the index is how you would reference um, the value that you want in the array. So you kind of look at arrays like you would look at um, an egg container. They contain multiple values. Now, what you saw there, you saw the index was at, starts at zero. So if we want to do this, what is this going to echo out? What is, if we echo this out, if we echo this out, what is it, what are we going to get to, to on the screen? Anyone want to guess? I'll give you five seconds. Okay, let's see. Let's just see what we're going to get. So I'm going to use this. It's already here. And let me move this over a little bit. We get value. So that's how we reference um, the values in an array. We can use the zero. And this is called an index array. 
So that's the first type of array that we're going to look at. So every time we um, every time we put one of these empty square brackets, it increases the index by one. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we do one. And we're going to go not to that one, but that one. And you can see we it echoes one. And in PHP, one is what they turn true into. So true will turn into one. And we know that it's true because Bill is awesome. The value of that is true. So true turns into one when you print that onto the screen. OK, so these are called indexed arrays. And these are very um, somewhat common in PHP. And you'll oftentimes need these. Um, an example would be is an example might be say you have uh, user data, right? And you want to create an array. And user data, maybe the first index is the name. So I'm going to say my name, Noah. And maybe the user data, the second index might be um, the age, and you could go kind of go on and on here. And then if we var dump user data, you'll see that we get this. right here. So 0 is Noah and then 1 is 29. So we're storing multiple values in an array and it can represent sort of an object, right? So you might have a table object you're trying to describe um, in, in the computer and maybe the table object has a color, it has a um, it has a length, it has a width, it has a weight, and you can use arrays for that. Now the other type of an array that we're going to learn about is an index array. So you don't just have to use 1, 2, and 3. You can use a key and a value. So what we could do here is we could say the key is name, and this key is age. So let's see what happens when we bar dump that. So let's go ahead. Notice that the key is now name. The key of the is is Noah. So if I want to reference, um, if I want to get the value Noah, I have to use um, I have to use the uh, I have to use the the name of the array and then in square brackets the term the key name. And if I want to get the age, I'll have to do that. So let me just show you that because that'll make a little bit more sense if you can see it. So we're going to echo out user data, and we're going to echo out name. So what is this going to equal? What am I going to see on the screen? I'll give you five seconds to figure that out. Let's see. Noah. It's starting to make a little bit more sense. And then age, what are we going to see? So an array can store key value pairs or it can store, or if you don't want to use key value pairs, you can just use the index array, which will just be 0, 1, 2. And you can also mix and match these. So I can say user data, and I can put in here whatever I want. Maybe um, let's say third. So I don't just have to put string values. I can also put number values, and I don't have to just have um, keys. I can mix and match. So you can't see that because I didn't dump out the array. So let's var dump the user array, user data array, and that'll dump all that information out on the screen. And you can see it starts at zero again. So zero, one, two. So Remember, arrays are zero index, and that's what that means, that it starts the indexing of the array, and the index is just what goes in between those square brackets to get the value. It starts that at zero. So those that's arrays in a nutshell. Um, that's what you're looking at. And arrays are used to maybe model data in a more complex way than you could use a variable. There's another concept we're going to go over a little later in our next class, that'll even take the arrays to the uh, maybe a more complicated way of 
modeling data. So you might have a user, and you might use arrays for that. But you oftentimes use arrays in PHP just to, to store stuff. Maybe you have um, an array of, of data points. for Say you're building a calorie counter app. You have an array of points that graph the screen ver that represent a graph. There's a lot of things you would use arrays. And arrays take – arrays, like I said, they're kind of the heart of PHP. So it's very important you get down arrays. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you, and this is going to kind of blow your mind a little bit, is you can have an array in an array. And these are called multidimensional arrays. So let's say um, person – we're going to say person A. We're going to create an array. I'm going to say person A name. And we're going to say that equals Bob. And then we're going to say person A. And then we're going to say address. Right? And this could happen in the real world. And this would be another array. And then we're going to say street. And we're going to set that equal to, so this is another syntax you can do. So you don't, um, actually, let's not do that. Let's just set that equal to an array. We'll go over that syntax a little later in the video. So then we can say person A address, and then street, and we're going to say that equals um, Friar Street, I don't know, we can say person A address, and that um, city and equals um, Dallas, and then person A address and state and that equals Texas and then let's say that we want to dump that out to the screen okay there we go so you see it's an array inside of an array so I want to reference just the um, value that's inside I say I just want to get the person person A's street. I would just have to type address, and then I go into this array, and I would type street. And let's just go ahead and echo that out, and we'll see that we just get that value right there. Pretty cool. So that's that's arrays in a nutshell. Just kind of the 15 minutes. Real on arrays. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some space. The other thing you can do with arrays, just to let you know, is say that we already know the value of an array. We don't have to just we don't have to declare an empty array. We can actually start declaring values. So we can say name, and then we do this equal sign, uh, greater than sign, and then we do the value. So we'll say person A is Ashley, and let's uh, not do the dot because that will create a concatenated string. And then we can say address, and then the value, which is, an, which is another array. And that's going to be street. We're going to say 233 nice street. And city. And that's going to be Nashville. And state is going to be Tennessee. So you can kind of see that we can um, do we can store stuff in an array, right? That um, we we can declare an array that already has values, and we can change the array too. So say that so they're mutable. So say that you want to say person A moves to from um, person B moves from you know, Texas, Tennessee to Texas. So you can say address um, street, and we're going to set that equal to 123 um, Bill Street, and we're just going to change person B's address. 
city we'll say is Houston. We'll say person B's address state is Texas TX. So if I echo, if I var dump, so I'm going to do another BR. And if I echo, um, if I var dump, I don't have to echo var dump. But if I var dump um, person B, what do you think I'll see for the address? You need five seconds to think about it. Okay, let's see. And we see that we changed the value. So you can change the value of an array variable just like you would a normal variable. You just have to do a little bit more um, stuff to it. So arrays are kind of the heart and soul, like I said, of PHP. It's something you really want to get down. Um, they're really one of the features that um, make PHP pretty interesting, a very interesting language, I would say. Um, and you can do stuff like this. So go ahead and mess around with this, play around with it. Um, I would create five PHP arrays. And that concludes our first lesson, it ends the variable trilogy. So um, here we go. So I hope you guys have a great day, and um, thanks for uh, completing the course on variables.